Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of What's for Dinner. So tonight we are making some pork cutlet vodka pasta. Let's go ahead and jump right in as to how I made this delicious plate. So I started off with peeling just about five garlic cloves and I threw it into a pot with some rosemary, butter, some oregano and just let that simmer on low so that it doesn't brown on you and I put some water to boil for our pasta. I used penne. I also used some pork sirloin roast. I got this at Costco and I just started a little mixture of some ranch and Dijon mustard. Now I chose ranch because it has it's buttermilk so it's going to keep our meat nice and moist even though we're going to fry it. I threw in some uh, you know, I just eyeballed about how much ranch I thought I would need to cover all of the meat. And I threw in about one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Now, I didn't want the mustard to overpower the flavoring. I just used it just to give it a nice little kick, basically. And we just mixed that together. See? Uh, I ended up doing two tablespoons. And just mix that up, make sure it's all well incorporated. You honestly couldn't even taste the mustard in it. It gave it such a good flavor. And I had at this point, I had already cut up my meat into just thin slices. I didn't want them too thick. That way they would cook pretty quickly. And I just threw all of the mixture right on top. And I started working it into the meat, made sure that both sides of each cutlet were nice and lathered don't be afraid to get down and dirty with it as you're slathering all of them because you want them to be nicely coated so that the buttermilk can really <clears throat> basically like tenderize the meat so you just like that and once they were all covered i went ahead and put this in the so once all of the meat was nicely coated i went ahead and put it into the refrigerator just so it could marinate um, it ended up being in there for about 30 minutes, just as long as it took for the whole pasta to be done. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and lather them all up. Now, depending on how, how many people you're feeding is how much meat you'll need. I just ended up using one out of the four balls that come in the pack from Costco. And it fed ooh, about 10 of us just fine, just because we had the pasta to go along with it. See how I'm just working it all in. I wanted to make sure that every part of the meat had the marinade on there. Here's Zaya asking what we're making. He's getting hungry at this point. <laughs> make sure to wash your hands. You don't want to cross contaminate anything. Now we'll put this in the fridge and start our vodka sauce. So I went ahead and added my butter mixture with some garlic into a skillet and i added some prego marinara sauce this one right here it was the italian sausage and garlic one to that i went ahead and added this whole pint of half and half and i also added some heavy whipping cream and some parmesan cheese these are the breadcrumbs that i used for the pork cutlets and this is our finished result you guys thanks so much for watching i'll see you next week bye